In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock and use the IDX broker features that are built into the equity framework. For this video, I'm using the must-see theme, and this is what we've got installed on our site here. And I'm going to switch over to the dashboard. And in the dashboard, and under, in order to unlock those features, you need to add your equity API key and API email under equity click on license and enter those then you also need to install the IDX broker plugin activate that then once it's activated under settings you'll have an item for IDX broker platinum go ahead and enter your IDX broker API key and save those changes once you do that then it'll unlock the IDX broker features and equity so we're going to start first with um, wrappers. Now a wrapper is a copy of your site's header, footer, and sidebar that's used to wrap around the IDX content in IDX Broker. So once you activate um, Equity and IDX Broker, you'll have a new item here in your dashboard called wrappers. So we're going to go to wrappers, select add new, Let's change this to visual and you do this like a post you give your wrapper a title I'm just going to call this new wrapper and you can select the layout you want to use you can just use the default layout which on my site here is just a content left with sidebar right or you can set it to no sidebar if you want all your IDX content to have no sidebar you can select that or maybe on your IDX pages you want a sidebar on the left. Just select whatever layout you want to use for that wrapper. And then once you've set that up, just click Publish. Okay, now once you've published it, check to make sure you can see that wrapper. I'm going to open this up where it says View Post and view that wrapper. And you'll see I've got my header. I've got my sidebar and I've got my footer and this is what's going to be used on that IDX broker content. If you get a 404 page when you click on that uh, view post, what you need to do is go back to your dashboard, go to settings and under settings select permalinks and resave your permalinks. Um, if you haven't set any permalinks, uh, we would recommend using post name. Um, it's better for SEO if you have a canonical URL for your uh, content. Um, so if, if you haven't done that yet, this is a good time to do it. Go ahead and select post name and save those changes. Okay, so we've set up a wrapper. Let's go back to wrappers. And there's our wrapper that we created. Now once you've created that wrapper, Here's the wrapper we created. You want to copy that URL. Uh, you can either do it in your browser at the top of your browser or you can do it here for the permalink. You want to copy that and then you need to go to IDX Broker to your dashboard. So I'm going to change over to my IDX Broker dashboard. Click on the designs button. Select wrappers and then come down and paste that URL here where it says dynamic URL and once you paste it you're going to have um, let me go ahead and paste the one I just did whoops let's reload that you may have an additional HTTP there you want to clear that out because it's already got the HTTP uh, forward slash forward slash for you so clean that out so here's the URL that I'm going to use for my wrapper. Now you want to make sure it's on dynamic. Um, I think by default IDX Broker has it set for static. You want to select dynamic and paste that URL there. And then you want to save. And then once you've saved it, just click on clear wrapper cache there. 
Now once you do that, then that wrapper will show up around all your IDX broker content. Now you may have noticed when you installed the IDX broker plugin, let's go to settings IDX broker. It gives you the ability to create a dynamic wrapper page there. You can just give it a name and it'll create that page and it will give you the URL. That's fine if you just want the easy global wrapper. But say you want to do some other things like put some branding um, above your IDX content. So we're going to do that now. We're going to go back to wrappers and I've created one that's called global with branding. And see what I did is I added an image and some text here in the content area of, of my wrapper. And this is the URL here that I've used in IDX Broker. If I go to IDX Broker, you'll see that's the URL I've got here in my dynamic URL. So if I go back to my site and select one of my IDX pages, um, let me just click on one of these listings here. You'll see now my wrapper has put that image and that text above the IDX broker content. So that's one advantage of using the equity wrapper. Another advantage is you can have different wrappers for different IDX broker pages. Uh, let's go back to wrappers and let's add a new one. Say you want a different wrapper on um, the details, the individual listings, like the listings I just said. So let's call this details wrapper. Um, you know, maybe contact, contact us for a showing for this property or, you know, whatever text you want to use uh, <clears throat> and publish this. And I want this wrapper just to show up on the individual listings. Um, so what I do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that URL. Let's go ahead and copy. Now let's go back to IDX Broker and under wrappers, this time instead of global, we're going to select pages and go down and you'll see you have a list of pages that you can use that wrapper for. What we want is the details page for the individual listings. I'm going to select details, then I'm going to select dynamic again. Clear out that HTTP and save changes. And you'll see now that my details pages will have a different wrapper now and different content above the listing than the other pages. Let's go back to the front of our site. Now it may take a while for this to propagate so we may not see it right away but let's go ahead and uh, pick one and see if it shows up. Yeah, see here's our new wrapper just for our details pages. And you'll see if we go back to some of the other IDX broker pages like maybe the basic search, it's still showing the other wrapper, the global wrapper we set up because that's our default wrapper. So that's the advantage of using the equity wrapper. It gives you a lot of options for different wrappers for different pages, adding content to the top, and plus it's styled for, for your theme. Now some of the other features um, with that are built into equity are um, the IDX broker widgets. So we're going to go to the dashboard of our site, go to appearance widgets. Okay, now when you install IDX Broker, you get a set of IDX Broker widgets. Um, here's one for like the lead login. So let's put this lead login widget in our sidebar. I'm going to drag it up to our primary sidebar. And this is just a default IDX Broker widget. Let's call this default IDX Broker widget. And let's go to the front of our site and say, let's go to our blog page and go down. And here's what the default IDX broker widget looks like. Equity comes with the same set of widgets, but they're styled for equity, so they look nicer. And the equity IDX lead login widget, uh, let's 
go ahead and add that one. Equity IDX lead login. We're going to put it below the other one so you can see the difference. This is the equity widget. And save that. Now let's go back and refresh the page. Okay. And you'll see by using the equity widget, it's styled to blend in with your site and it looks much nicer rather than using the default IDX broker widgets. So if you want to use any of the IDX widget, that includes the, uh, the City Links widget, uh, the Dashboard widgets, the Lead Login, Lead Sign Up, uh, Property Carousel, Property Showcase, and the Quick Search, you want to use the Equity ones rather than the IDX Broker because it just looks nicer on your site. So let me go ahead and pull these back off. There we go. Um, now let's see, in the front of our site we're using the Equity IDX Quick Search. And you'll see the Equity one has an option of displaying that vertical or horizontal. And we've got it horizontal in the front of our site. So let's go back to the front. And there's the Equity IDX Quick Search widget. And it, like I said, it's styled to match your um, Equity theme. So uh, the last feature that's built into equity for IDX broker is um, a tool for clearing the IDX cache. Your IDX data is cached on your site for 24 hours. That's so those pages load faster. But occasionally you may make some changes that you want to show up right away. Maybe you've just added a supplemental listing or, or you've created a new widget, widget. You want to show up in uh, one of the widgets here, a custom widget. What you do is you go to your dashboard, go to tools, and under tools you now have an option to clear IDX cache. We're going to select that. We're going to click the blue button to clear the IDX cache. And that clears all that IDX data out. And that way you, those new things that you added in your IDX broker dashboard will now show up on your site. So those are the features that are built into Equity uh, to use with IDX broker.